Okay, and last thing I wanted to ask you about, and thanks for coming in, was mm. uh, the euthanasia legislation, which is back in the upper house this week. Yeah. Will it be finished this week? I th- we will try our very hardest to, to finish it this week. Uh, we intend to sit, well, my intention is that we should sit until it's finished. Uh, it's we've, we've had the second reading debate. We're now into the sort of the review debate of the bill. Now, we're going to do that all day today, up until this evening. Um, all day Thursday, Thursday night, Friday. I, I think that gives us adequate time. This will give us about 24, 36, 24 hours to tease out the bill. It must be a, I'm talking about stress earlier, but it must be a stressful thing to be sitting in that house with people, you know, pouring out their soul over it. This is, what I'm frightened of is that we had very respectful second reading debate and people spoke very personally and passionately on both sides. This is... This part of the debate, I think this is when it's going to get nasty. And I think this is when we're going to see some of the opposition. Um, and by that you mean from either side? I mean, yeah. Those yeah. opposing, not the literally the opposition. No, those opposing. Those yeah. opposing it. I can see them actually starting to get a lot more really? aggressive. Yeah. You know, our upper house, we're very well practised in the committee process. But how do you get aggressive around an issue like euthanasia? Um, because some people see it as sort of the end of civilization as we know it. And, you know, they've, they've seen abortion law reform go through. I mean, re- you remember the abortion debate. Yeah. Well, I, I think we can, we can expect something similar. I hope you're wrong, but thank you very much for coming in. Thanks, Neil. Fiona Patton.